A low, blood-curling guttural growl pierced my attention. It was a bright, hot African afternoon, yet I felt a deep chill down my spine and malevolent eyes stabbing my back with its stare. I slowly turned around. I came face to face with the biggest white lion I'd ever seen. Its ravenous eyes were examining me up and down as if checking out its next meal. I froze, shutting my eyes, quivering as it prowled closer. I could even feel its feral breath on my chest, and I was just thinking to myself, stupid, stupid, stupid. Why did I risk my life to record the sound of the savannah? The lion leapt towards my throat, and it all went black. Beloved, my name is Charlotte Delphine, and I'm a sound healing specialist. I weave the dulcet tones of nature and tap into the frequencies of the glorious universe, helping you to manifest wealth and live your best life, attracting your twin flame, or finding your soul community, feeling intimate with the whispers of the angels, where messages become magnificent reality. Yet it wasn't always like that. In fact, I came from such a broken place. The impoverished childhood, the string of mistakes, the unhappy marriage, the single mom struggles, the tiredness of day-to-day -day living. And believe me, I tried them all. Mindfulness. And yet intrusive thoughts bombard me all the time. Binaural beats. When it's switched on, it helps a little. But once I turn it off, things go back to normal. The law of attraction. Everything feels so hollow like I was faking it. It was almost I never really believed. Tarot cards. They all seem to turn up negative for me. And communicating with the angels. They were apparently flat out ignoring me. Does that feel like you? Trying really hard and going nowhere? Tolerated a difficult year and now facing down a potentially more challenging one? Well, it's not your fault. I want to talk to you about a mischievous hidden obstacle. One that can potentially make all your manifestation efforts futile. It's called junk food vibrations. You see, to vibrate at the frequency of the universe, you need to do so at the level of Gaia, where nature is at its purest form. For instance, processed food like McDonald's and Taco Bell can provide a degree of energy and you won't go hungry. However, eat a Big Mac every day and you'll probably end up sick. It's far better to have organic food through clean eating. Here's another analogy. While you can install a wallpaper featuring lush greenery on your computer, you know it's not a substitute for the real thing, right? There's no greater pleasure than inhaling the crisp, fresh air of the rolling heels. So here's the crucial point. In the same manner, things like binaural beats and even guided meditations are man-made objects, so you'll get a degree of success. But you won't enjoy the full potential of a generous universe pouring its blessing on you. And here's the science to back it up. According to a groundbreaking 2012 study in the Journal of Theoretical Biology, pink noise, the sounds of nature, are better than white noise or other forms of noise. First, scientists carried out the brain synchronization test in which electroencephalogram or EEG signals of six subjects were recorded. EEG signals are a measurement of the level of stress that the mind is enduring, so the more complex, the less your mind is in a high vibration state. After the complexity analysis of fractal dimension, they found that the complexity of the EEG signals decreased with the introduction of the pink noise exposure, showing the brain waves tended to synchronize with the pink noise induction to reach a low level. This proves steady pink noise has a significant effect on reducing brain wave complexity. In layman's terms, the sound of nature, aka pink noise, were far better for putting your mind into a theta state, creating a sense of calm. So what are the implications? This means the reason your chakras are not opening, the reason why mental health issues are skyrocketing to the moon, the reason why the universe has not unleashed its blessing upon you is simply because you're not getting the real thing. You're about to find out how you can gain access to the purest form of manifestation and how I came to this foolproof conclusion 
deep in the ancient city of El Efe. As I mentioned earlier, life was tough. Believe it or not, it got even worse when I loyally stuck with my husband through the poverty due to his stupid business choices, enduring every lashing out and blaming me for his own arrogant mistakes. Stupid me. Staying in for the sake of our teenage daughter Tiffany. Yet what took the cake happened just a few years back. He shacked up with some bimbo nearly the same age as my daughter and then had the cheek to say I deserved to be cheated on. Humiliated. That insult struck me deep to the core. Am I really that unlovable? Plagued by a hard life? Abandoned by the universe? So here I was, alive, but almost a zombie, shuffling day to day and kept alert by many, many obligations. Giving up my dreams, living each day in quiet despair. Divorced abandoning all hope. And then an angel came along in human form. Her name was Fasayo. We met by chance at a grocery store of all places. Went for my usual run, the usual bread, eggs, and bacon routine. Then she caught my eye at the bakery aisle. She was decked in colorful West African garb, skin the purest of milk chocolate, lips that looked like it dripped nectar, a smile to bring down heaven. As I discovered later, even her name means God has added to my joy. So pretty. She radiated the full favor of the universe. It was as if the Great Spirit was smiling down on her. Floored, I worked up the courage to strike up a conversation, and I was straight up blunt. Hey there, you look so happy. To my surprise, she responded as if she was expecting me. She exclaimed, You're the one! She invited me for coffee at the neighboring cafe after we'd done shopping. While I don't usually engage with complete strangers, something in me leapt and said yes. And let me tell you, that turmeric latte sparked a marvelous turnaround to my now glorious life. To my surprise, she exclaimed she knew she would be a catalyst for someone's life to turn around. This was after she'd done her Aoife, her culture's way of listening to the universe she was so darn happy. I was mesmerized by her stories, how she unleashed blessing nearly instantly, how she developed a Midas touch in every aspect of her life, how love and peace came so easily. I asked her what was her secret, and she revealed it was all thanks to her ancestors. You see, she belongs to the Yoruba tribe in the tiny country of Benin. It was a highly musical culture, deeply connected to the sounds of the earth. In fact, it was a specific tone found deep in the lost city of Olaifa that instantly connected her to the center of the universe. She revealed to me this healing sound, imbued with magnetic quality, was so integrated into her culture even. Parents sing to their kids when they go to the dentist in order to reduce their pain. Is it that Yoruba sound that fulfills all facets of your destiny? opening your chakras, making every step you take dripping with grace. The more Fasayo regaled me, the more I'm amazed with the tribe. How they manifest so easily compared to the people of the West. Intrigued. I did some further research later on and I realized they're almost like the Wakanda of mental health. And that's not an exaggeration. In the Yoruba dominated country of Nigeria, they rank among the most joyful in the world, according to a 2011 Gallup poll. Which is remarkable given the level of corruption and injustice. Yet the Yoruba have way more contentment than the so-called rich Western countries. In fact, The Guardian proclaimed it the happiest country in the world. Yes, above Sweden, above the US, above so many other countries. So what does this mean for you? If you listen to the Yoruba sound, the lost low vibration years of your life can be now fully restored. Fasayo heard my sob story. She nodded intently, and then she extended her fateful invitation. Come over to Benin. My elders will host you. There you will learn the secrets to manifesting glorious reality in a way you've never done before. I was initially nervous. After all, I'd never really traveled out of the Western world. Seeing my life was in tatters anyway, I accepted. If it meant restoration of hope, 
if it meant getting a brand new soulmate, if it meant prosperity will fall like torrential rain. Almost immediately, I gathered my belongings and jumped on the plane to the capital of Porto Novo. What I uncovered was exceedingly, abundantly more than I could hope for or imagine. At first, I wasn't certain of what I would uncover when I landed at the sleepy Benin International Airport. I certainly wasn't prepared for the cavalry that greeted me at the airport. It was then I met Fisayo's uncle Alake and his eager group of two dozen members greeting me with howls of approval. They were a most hospitable bunch. As they whisked me from the airport, my jaw dropped when I went to the countryside. And where was to be my home for the next 22 days? A village in Natintingo, near the Pinjari National Park. And over the next few days, usually during exchanges over the aroma of grilled game meat, over the fire, my jaw dropped at the depth of ancient wisdom they have. On the interconnectedness of all things, on the beauty of coincidences, on how to position oneself with the universe's noblest intentions for you. After five days of just taking in the beautiful savannah and being in communion with these beautiful souls, I asked the Council of Elders how the Yoruba and their tribe in particular had one of the highest levels of happiness in the world. You know what? They goffed, thinking I was crazy. Why? It was simply not a part of their culture to worry about manifesting the good life. So much so, they didn't even realize that they're holding on to a secret that everyone in the Western world was dying to get their hands on. The village elders looked at my perplexed face. When it dawned on them, I was really a clueless Westerner. And they told me a remarkable tale where the hope of effortless manifestation lies in the bizarre myth. In the early days of civilization, there lived King Alaranan and King Kin, the tiny bird. King Alaranan was the ruler of the Yoruba people during those days. He wanted to clear the forest where King Kin was staying. He did not ask the bird's permission and proceeded to raise the land. The bird went into hiding, furious that the king did not ask him permission, but bulldozed his way in. Then, King Kin took his revenge and started to sing, pleading to Gaia. After warbling this song, all of the cut grass grew tall and fallen trees rose again, returning the area to the original state of nature that existed before the land clearing. The following day, the king and his chiefs came to the area to inspect the efforts. To their shock, they were puzzled to see the field full of tall grass and trees. The Eva priest was then consulted after several futile clearings. The oracle revealed that King Kin was responsible for this problem. King Kin then appeared, confirming he was responsible for reversing the work of destruction. Ultimately, the king was obligated to apologize to King Kin based on the advice of the Ifa priest. This premise was the start of Yoruba-style manifestation. Whenever anything is destroyed, cut down by the brutality of life, the sound of nature restored things that have been lost. Now imagine the sound of the organic universe restoring everything you have lost. The crux of it? Everything is rooted in Gaia. The more you connect to the universe, the more you need to be submerged in nature. Interestingly enough, your chakras represent different aspects of nature as well. And it all boils down to the sound. After all, many ancient cultures usually talk about all-powerful deities singing creation into existence. In other words, when you tap into the right frequency, you'll access the creative energy to craft the life you want and crave. As I later learned, even in cultures, you'll see this pattern repeating over and over again. Malbert Lee, a Hong Kong-based crystal bowl and gong master, says this, the adult body is 75% water, and water is a great conductor for sound vibration, he notes. When vibrations travel through the body, they promote circulation, energy flow, and rejuvenation. The frequency of the sound synchronizes with the brain waves and activates distress responses in the body. And here's another interesting statement. To heal is to make sound, says gong master Martha Collard of Red Doors Studio. Sound can shift frequencies from low energy of guilt and fear to higher vibrations of love and joy. Sound healing is the use of sacred instruments or voice to release energetic blockages 
inducing a state of ease and harmony in the body. Are you starting to see why sound is the most powerful way to put the law of attraction to work for you? And no one does it better than the Yoruba. The Council of Elders urged me to go to the ultimate source of this power. It was a trek to the wild, channeling the love of nature into unveiling the secrets of the universe. It was the key to all manifestation in the heart of the African savanna, where crystal clear intention permeates. Every dream effortlessly becomes reality. Therein lies this crazy white lady's perilous quest for perfect happiness. At the crack of dawn under a gentle red sun, I braved the African bush in order to record a specific sound from a specific creek, a frequency that explodes wealth and prosperity. The rumor it was near the ruins of Il Efe, the African El Dorado, the alleged birthplace of humankind, according to archaeologists. The body of water was known as literal stream of consciousness, its very presence putting you in tune with manifest destiny, where all the diseases disappear, where all the anguish washes away, where all the loneliness becomes a thing of the past. But here's the catch. Paradise was in lion territory. Mind you, the scene is not the Lion King, where the wildlife scenes Hakuna Matata, the pride can rip you to shreds. In fact, the collective brow of the tribe's people furrows whenever they hear a lion roar. They're called the king of the jungle for a reason, and they don't take kindly to people invading their space. So when I went about my merry way, taking in the beauty of my surroundings, I heard a soft snarl. I slowly turned around. Standing before me 20 feet away was the majestic yet terrifying of all the beasts of the savanna, Kiniwan Oba, the white lion lord of the forest. It sauntered towards me, which slowly became a gallop, and then it became to prowl. As I stood there in stupid shock and closed my eyes, waiting for sweet darkness to envelop me, the rest of the tribe stood their ground. The white lion paused, growled in frustration when he knew he was outnumbered, and left. Till this day, I was grateful that the lion didn't feel like working for his food that day. The Yoruba part acted like this was business as usual. We proceeded to the stream of consciousness, recording the wonderful sound, all in a day's work. A few days later, with my visa running out, I went back to the U.S. When I went back to the States, I started playing the recordings over my headphones. Suddenly, I became a magnet for jaw-dropping delights. One after another, like flowers blooming in spring, money started pouring into my bank account. So much so, it overflowed to my family and friends. My daughter Tiffany got into the Ivy League college of her dreams. I started attracting a tribe and community who valued every word I said, far from the disrespect of my ex. I'd even gone on a few spicy dates, finding my twin flame in the process, worshipping the ground I walk on. My life was never the same. And all I did was merely listen to the sound, rooted in the Yoruba tradition, and I was a magnet for all the good things in life. A few months later, I bumped into Fisayo. She was hooking arms with an Idris Elba dreamboat, as lovely and radiant as ever. Again, she glanced at me without a hint of surprise, as if she was expecting yet another encounter. She excused herself from her handsome bow and went for a stroll with me. She informed me she got another message from the universe for me. She put her arm around my shoulder and said, Charlotte, it's now your turn to be the catalyst. Yes, I knew it was time, so I obeyed. I started creating more and more of these sounds following the methodologies thought by the Benin Council of Elders. Needless to say, my students started experiencing wondrous miracles. In the midst of my community creating the most profound of vibrational breakthroughs, something remarkable happened. Science actually started catching up to this miracle of sound. And you know something? There's no coincidences in the universe especially in its divine timing. Behold, the emergence of grounding. 
In a landmark joint study by the University of California, Oregon, and Nature Zone Research Association, it showed that electrically conductive contact of the human body with the surface of the earth, grounding or earthing, produces intriguing effects on physiology and health. Such effects relate to inflammation, immune responses, wound healing, and prevention and treatment of chronic inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. This means your energy is tied to the earth. This is further substantiated by another study in 2017, Alternative Therapy Health Medicine, called Electric Nutrition, the Surprising Health and Healing Benefits of Biological Grounding. Modern biomedicine has discovered that many of the most debilitating diseases, as well as the aging process itself, are caused by or associated with chronic inflammation and oxidative stress. Emerging research has revealed that direct physical contact with the surface of the planet generates a kind of electric nutrition with surprisingly potent and rapid anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. So the more grounded you are, the more your chakras and other possibilities open up. Yet here's the main issue. To be grounded requires special circumstances. It's hard to be one with nature all the time. After all, borders could be closed. Daily life can be so overwhelming. You need something that's instant access. Instead of waiting for the next vacation, the next break, the next holiday, don't you wish that just by putting on headphones, a new realm of reality just opens up for you? Now, get all the benefits of Europa, grounded in grounding science. Let me present Gaia Sound Miracle, the Europa approach to getting connected to the universe and creating automatic manifestations. There's four parts to the program, all specifically designed to propel you to the life of your dreams. Four audio suites. You see, there are specific nuances to each of these sounds. The very minute change in frequencies produces different outcomes. So with surgical precision, Here's how we structure the stream of consciousness journey for you. First off, you'll get the foundation of section one, unleashing the law of attraction. In life, you need to clean up in order to access the good things in life. After all, you can only go out on business meetings and dates after a shower and iron clothes. In the same manner as you listen to the very heartbeat of nature, allow Gaia to help you cleanse your energy field, release judgment on oneself, activate true strength, and trigger inner joy. And once you're fully magnetized to attract the blessings of the universe, you proceed to section two, unshackle the limitless mind. As you think, so you are. Why would you sabotage yourself with negative self-talk? Instead, why not proclaim, I am powerful, I am enough. With these sounds, you can affirm yourself without a shadow of a doubt. I am confident, building confidence. I am unstoppable, unleash my potential. I am open to change, in the flow. And I am priceless, knowing my worth. And now you reach the tricky part. The oxymoron is that in order to be wealthy, you need to let go of the need to be wealthy. Stress is a killer. It's time to breathe in the freedom of letting go. Continue to section three. Untether the materialistic nature. Accept myself. Stress relief. Positive energy. Clearing negative energy. Now lies the exciting part. The one you'll be waiting for. Because the bountiful harvest of the universe will overtake you soon. Close your eyes. Connect heart to heart with heaven. And then plunge into section four. Release the waterfall of wealth. Releasing shame of money. Clearing mental fog of money. Clearing ancestral blockage of money. Willingness to receive. The more you're reading this, the more excited you get. And here's the best part. Let me tell you why it probably wouldn't cost as much as it should. Back in 2013, I set a massive goal. I dedicated myself to helping at least 100,000 men and women to hear their way to a breakthrough life. 
Since then, I've helped thousands of people in my suburb and my city go through Gaia Sound Miracle and enjoy the amazing results, and you can be one of them. The bottom line, I decided that I absolutely need to let as many folks as possible join in this cause, a cause I call the Gaia Sound Movement. The good news? That means a much lower price for you because I don't want finances to stop anyone. So let's add you to the cause, starting right now. That means that today you will not be paying the retail value of Gaia Sound Miracle and the free gifts, not even close. In fact, you're only getting it at a tiny investment amount. And because I'm so convinced it will work for you, in fact, what I'm about to offer is something unprecedented. I call it the Miracle Headphones Guarantee. The ultimate ironclad agreement that if you don't achieve near instant results by simply listening to the audios, we don't deserve to take your money. No tricks, loopholes, or funny business. Here's how it works. Get your copy of Gaia Sound Miracle today. Put on those headphones. They will become almost like a holy grill as you soon will see. Listen to the audios, the sounds of nature, effective pink noise, the heart of Gaia connecting to yours, exploding possibilities, attracting the angels to your frequency, see immediate manifestation, soar and be free, draw a line in the sand because now you're attracting so many amazing things, you're almost like a hoover for blessings, and as you complete the audios, you'll be dazzled by the results. Congratulations, you have just become a Gaia Miracle Maker. If you don't do a double take because you can't believe your eyes, or if for any reason you aren't 100% satisfied with your results, simply give us a call and we'll give you back every penny, no questions asked. Up to 60 days. If your life hasn't changed, we don't want your money. So on the bad days that make you cry, if only, if you end up looking back, regretting you made bad choices, beating yourself up because you of course could see it coming, I gently urge you, please stop. Just a few years back when I was battered and bruised, yet the setback was gearing for a comeback. Because here's the best news of all. Gaia Sound Miracle redeems your past while giving you a breathtaking future to look forward to. Look below this video right now. Click on the button that says Add to Cart to claim your discounted price now. Remember, it's not just a great bargain you're getting today. You'll be joining in on the biggest sound manifestation movement in history. You'll be a part of an ever-growing soul family of Gaia Miracle Makers. All you need to do is click on the button, then fill in your details. Let Gaia Sound Miracle make life worth living now. This is one of those watershed moments in your life. Three paths lie before you. You can bury your head in the sand. Look, let me level with you. You'll know deep down that the job you hate isn't magically going to transform into the gig of your dreams. That marriage is not going to fix itself. The money issues are not just going away. So if you are intent on making a change, why not plunge in now with the Miracle Headphones Guarantee? What do you have to lose? Alternatively, you can try to figure all this out on your own. Really, just Google manifestation and you'll get a flood of information. In fact, you could literally drown in all that conflicting advice. And remember what I said about all the other methods? If it's man-made, it has limited capability for change. If it taps into nature, your reality will change instantly. On the flip side, why not embrace the wisdom of an ancient African tribe and learn the secrets of the song? This is where you can finally take control of your life. Look, you've already experienced what trouble feels like, the turmoil, the storms of life. You've been there, you somewhat survived. But it's time to try something different. Once you give up the junk food manifestation using Gaia Sound Miracle, that's when your greatest wishes are finally pulled into your new gravitational field. Now's the time to say yes. Yes to the amazing gifts just waiting for you to claim and bring into your reality. We are here on this planet to experience love, joy, and abundance. And now you can experience it all by just clicking play. Go ahead and get started right now. All you desire is out there. 
the universe with its boundless delights are in your grasp. But it can't come into your life until you've taken that first step for a brand new you. Click below right now to join me on this new and exciting path. All you have to do is click on the Add to Cart button below to gain exclusive access and get started today. It will take you to our secure reservation page where you can manifest the most magnificent life in just three clicks. This is only going to be offered for a limited time, so please don't delay. Click on the bright orange button below now. This is Charlotte signing off. I'll see you on the other side.